Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Caleb and it has been a while. This video, we're just gonna do a quick tip, which is how to create a Visual Studio Code snippet. It's basically think of it as a shortcut to generate some section of code that you might use very often. So for example, there may be snippets for different structures of loops or different function setups. Well, we're going to create a custom one and I think this video is really ideal if you just want a quick setup it's not going to be how to do every possible thing with snippets because it can get pretty advanced. So if you want to get started without a three hour tutorial, this is the video for you. However, if you want to know more, then maybe let me know in the comments and we can get some more content made about Visual Studio Code snippets. So here's a quick example of some code that I wrote that will generate an image in Markdown. But if I want to resize this or position it, it's going to be a little bit more complicated with some HTML where I can now set the width to say 200. We can generate this with a snippet by typing MD image. And now we can tab through these different sections. So we can say a cool pick and hit tab. And then the source is going to be test.png. So I generated a resizable image fairly easily. And you can see that center and the width were not one of the options that I could tab but you can set it up so that it can be. Now, whenever you want those options to appear, you can hold control, hit space, that's on Mac, and you can see the options here. So I can go and select whatever snippet I want. So let's talk about how we can create this now. We will use Command Shift P to open the palette, or from View Command Palette for those of you who don't want to use a shortcut. And there is this option to configure user snippets. Hit enter on that. And there's an option to make a new global snippet file, but there's a bunch of other options here. So for these languages down here, this is if you want to create a snippet for a specific language. So it's not going to pop up for other languages. Then there's new snippet file for, and then this is your project. So I'm in a folder called MD image. So if you want that file to be associated with your project, you know, maybe if you are sharing the source code with other people, or if you just want to check that into source control or something, you can go with this option. I'm going to go with the new global snippet file, which will be global for my Visual Studio code. And we're going to give it the name. And now this can have multiple snippets in here. So you might not want to name it the exact snippet you want, maybe something like snippets or my snippets. Hit enter. And it gives some examples here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uncomment this example. All right, so there we go. Now the scope, you can put the languages you want this to work for. I'm going to remove that and it's going to work for everything. And this is JSON. So the way we're going to do the body is a little strange. The prefix is what you have to type for it to show up. So we'll just say like my snippet, for example, and now the Description is what it does. Generate markdown image. And now for the body here, it's going to be JSON still. So it's going to end up being a list of the lines that we want, where the dollar sign one is the first value to be tabbed to, and then the dollar sign two is the second. So going back to our code, I'll just take this first line here paste that in this quote here. And I have the single quotes on the inside. Then I'll take this next line. And that's going to go here. And then finally, we will need a third line to close the paragraph. So I'll bring that down here. Paste it here. Now you have to make sure to separate these with commas. And I'm going to go ahead and indent this. Now we put the variables that we want to fill in. So the way we had it exactly would be dollar sign one here, and then a dollar sign two here. So if you wanted to substitute these ones with values, you could do dollar sign three and dollar sign four, or order it however you wish. So we'll save that and let's just try it out. So we'll go down here, control space, and it was called my snippet. And there we go, we can type in the alt and the file name. Now, if we wanted to set the width, but you know, most of the time it's gonna be 500 for example, you can say curly braces around it. The dollar sign will go on the outside and then the three colon will go right here. 
let's save that and give it a try. So we'll go down here and we'll grab my snippet. Still says print to console. I think we'll want to change that here as well. So generate markdown image. All right, so my snippet, hit enter, test, test. And then when we hit tab, it'll highlight that 500. So if we type, it'll replace the value or we could just hit tab to get out of it. So that is your basic introduction to snippets. Like I said, there's a lot more you can do. I just needed the snippet, so I made it myself yesterday, and that was the first time I created a snippet. So I just wanted to give you the essentials here. Now, if you want to learn more, then I recommend this documentation, which goes through how to use the built-in snippets, install snippets from the marketplace, how to create your own, and some more advanced stuff. So for example, variables, or the ability to create choices, which might be useful if say you wanted the options between left, right, and center, you could try a choice, and there's a bunch more in here that you can do. Another option is if you wanna learn more about snippets and Visual Studio Code in general, is to check out Code Stacker's course on Visual Studio Code. So I will leave a link down in the pinned comment if you want to check that out and support this channel in the process. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any tips or suggestions or suggestions for future content. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.